please join me in reading Psalm 18, which we found on page 11 of your chapter books. We'll read the responsibly, the side of the lectern is side A, and that side of the pulpit is side B. Behold, now is the acceptable time. I love you, Lord God, and you make me strong. You have been a friend to someone in need. 
you are now able to make it from one end to the other on the monkey bars. You have had disagreements and conflicts with your peers, and perhaps even a teacher. But through this, you have learned the importance of forgiveness and moving forward. Life is not perfect. You are not perfect. But students, you have had an extraordinary year. Your promotion is only a few minutes away. But at this time, I would like to recognize those who are with you through thick and thin. Faculty and staff, please stand so that we can honor you. generosity and commitment to you and our schools. We love and thank you for supporting us. Former <laughs> school students, I don't know if you can recall this moment, but during one of our lower school assemblies, I read the book, Everything I Need to Know, I Learned from a Little Golden Book. Although most of these books were written in the 1940s and 50s, the messages are ones that will be useful to us for a lifetime. So, lower and middle school students, I'm challenging myself and everyone here in chapel visiting with us today to do some of the following over the summer. The list is all inclusive. Get some exercise every day. Daydream. Stargaze. Bird watch. Go on a picnic. Make music a part of your life. Turn off the TV from time to time and open up a book. Use your imagination. Stay curious. Something new. Express yourself. Be unique. Be open to making new friends, even if you're very, very shy. Just hang out. Make something from nothing. Sing even if you can't hold a tune. Learn to cook and clean. Give in to a good cry. You'll feel better afterward. Get plenty of sleep, work hard, play hard, give thanks. As long as you do these things, your life will be golden. From the bottom of my heart, I'm going to miss you, St. Matthew's Episcopal Day School. Thank you.
So it's my honour and privilege to honour all the students who've been in the core programme this year. Our programme runs from third grade through eighth grade. And what we're going to do is honour people with one, two, three, four, five, and even six years service. There are a few students who've been all the way through the programme. And this applies to junior choir and to the two chapel choirs. So you just work out in your head, how long have I been in choir? So uh, all choristers in junior and chapel choirs who've been in choir for one year, please stand and receive our applause. One year choristers. Thank you, you will be seated. Choristers who've been in the program for two years, please stand and receive our applause. Thank you very much. Choristers with three years service, please stand. You will be seated. Choristers who've been in choir for four years, please stand. Thank you. Choristers with five years service. You may be seated. And then we have just a few choristers who've actually been in the program for six years. I'd like to call them forward to stand on the steps, please. If you have six years service, I know we have a few of you, uh, Sam and Ryan too, but there are others. Please come forward to receive our applause. Anybody else with six years service? in our program. That's when they started in third grade and they've gone all the way through from third grade to eighth grade. These are all part of our leadership team. I think that's quite an achievement. And I thank them all so much for their loyalty and commitment to the choir six years service. Thank you very much. One more round of applause for these guys. serves over 100,000 students on over 5,000 teams nationally and about 50,000 students on 1,000 teams in more than 30 other countries. It provides challenging, thought-provoking problems that stretch the abilities of students in 6th through 8th grades. Most of those participating in the contest rank among the best mathematics students in their schools. Therefore, if you earn an individual award, you rank among the best of the best in the national. If your name is called, please stand. Awards will be distributed in room 303 after this service. Audience, please hold your applause until everyone's name has been called. In the sixth grade division, in the top 50% of their class, Alexandra, Siegfried, Anna Dahl, Francesca Arvales, Colton Lum, Marissa Kelly, Al Forrest, Alex Pavate, Warren Sow, Lexi Fenton, Ashley Wong, Kate Taylor, Jack Roche, Yamato Onozato, Kevin Macy, Emily Winters, Tyler Law, Elizabeth Powell, and Audra Rogers. In the top 20%, or excuse me, top, I need a ruler. <laughs> In the top 10%, Jack Lee, Aiden Two, Alex Precourt, Lauren Matsuda, Owen Sam, Cyrus Patel, Ellie Kearns, Margot Ro Robeson, and in the top 2% of their class, Walton Chung and Sheikha Kimi. Just to clarify, this is the top percent in the entire world. Congratulations.
For the 7th and 8th grade division, in the top 50%, Will Wolf, Griffin Perks, Brendan Deasy, Max Slope, Tia Pavlovic, Thomas Malumphy, Charlotte McCorr, Luca Glickman, Allison Elshoff, Zahal Agarwal, Maddie Thacker, Samantha Story, Gus Parker, Jordan Flood, Peyton Ting, Sam Scola, Daniel Nikas, Kai Lofton, Luke Williams, Dana Brooks, Charlotte Kearns, Ryan Sullivan, Anoush Thakur, Brian Kwan. And in the top 10%, Mateo Figueroa. Congratulations. was awarded or earned by Brian Kwan. <laughs> and our valedictorian, which was the highest grade point average of the entire eighth grade graduating class, was earned by Charlotte Kearns. Stay 
think that when we're doing service, we are serving with our time and our talents and our treasures, and many of those hours do not get recorded, and a lot of people witness them on the daily. Um, next will be honoring folks who have received the Presidential Service Award, and for these students, I'd like to invite you up in groups. We're going to begin with the bronze group. So if you'll please join us here and we'll stand together and please hold your applause again. Clara Boone. Christopher Boone. Gavin Subson. Charlotte Kearns. Will Wolf. Taylor Davis. Elika Wilson. Evie Moore. Catherine Spencer and Caroline D.C. This is the Bronze Award. Please give them a round of applause. <laughs> All right, and Bronze, please stay up here. We're going to invite the Silver Group, Mateo Figueroa. Dario Gambasar, I'm sorry, Gambasar, Alessandra Sabarisi, Spencer Shank, and Tristan Kelly. Please give them a round of applause. Playing a spirit of caring 
and friendship. The Suji family established this award in memory of their daughter Lauren, who attended the day school until sixth grade. And the recipients of the memorial award are Owen Sam and Marco Robinson. write essays about a religious theme in literature for the religion course, and the A-plus essays are judged anonymously by Father Eric, Mrs. Gallus, and Reverend Jay. It doesn't happen often in the Father Wilder Award that the judges agree on all of the rankings, but this year we had great agreement between the judges, and that means that we are going to recognize two honorable mentions in this award of the Father Wilder Essay Contest. The first honorable mention goes to the paper The Pursuit of Justice in Nowhere Girls by Elka Wilson. Elka, can you stand up? goes to the paper, The Theme of Enlightenment in Every Day by Alison Elishaw. Yeah! And this year, the winner of the Father Wilder and Father Easton Award goes to the paper, Wrongful Prejudice and Entitlement in Small Great Things by Charlotte Kerr. I would invite 
I would like to invite the graduating class of 2018 to please rise. We would like you to come and take your places where you will be this evening up here in the choir stalls with you. I would now invite the seventh grade class to stand and follow your current homeroom teachers to the front of the chapel. I want to say something on behalf of the 7th grade advisors. This has been an incredibly special year for the three of us. Uh, this group of students is incredible. Uh, they are, they came in this year, bright little young 7th graders, and they have formed a cohesive group. They support each other. They are strong. Uh, we, we've had such a successful year. We couldn't be more proud of them. So congratulations. to your seats. I now invite the sixth grade to stand and follow your current teachers to the front of the chapel. This group of sixth graders started off as the new kids and veterans, and they are now all united as one. And it's been a great year getting to know them. They've been um, very engaged in class, super enthusiastic, and just a lot of fun. So seventh grade teachers, enjoy them as well. The sixth grade has now been promoted to the seventh grade. I now invite the fifth grade to stand and follow your current teachers to the front of the chapel.
Thank you all for being such a fun, energetic group this year. I appreciate your enthusiasm and your passion for learning, and I hope you keep up the awesome, amazing, great work in the sixth grade next year. Congratulations. The fifth grade has now been promoted to the sixth grade. fourth grade to stand. Follow your current teachers to the front of the chapel. So this is a group of young men and women who love their friends, love their family, and live every day to the fullest. They can add and subtract fractions, they can use personification, they can tell you what will happen if two different cultures come together in the same place, and if you give them a battery, some wires, and a steel nail, they can make you a telegraph and send a message to a Morse code. They are, in a word, amazing, and for them, every day is Friday. Friday. <laughs> Congratulations. The fourth grade has now been promoted to the fifth grade. Next year's conversation. I invite the third grade to stand. Follow your current teachers to the front of the chapel.
be so excited to learn from one another and from the world around them. And we're so proud of everything that you have accomplished this year. We know that you will succeed next year with kindness and caring and with your academic work. And congratulations. You've been great. So we've honoured our choristers in the choral programme, but their job is not yet done. Uh, the chapel choirs have one more event, and that is graduation this evening. Eighth graders will of course be sitting up here in their finery. Seventh graders will be in the chapel in their robes. Fifth and sixth in the signed seats. We will be singing Ave Maria this evening. And our two head choristers, Charlotte Kearns and Ryan Sullivan, will be taking the solo. So I shall look forward to that very much uh, this evening, choir members. Closing song, it's on page 57. 
मुझे आप बहुत स्वर्गीय